I'm starting a new series here on my channel and it is going to be called Cosplay Cooking. Every now and then I am going to do a recipe that I find online or in a random pop culture themed cookbook and I'm going to dress in cosplay. For my first cosplay cooking video, I'm cosplaying kinda as Jean Cobb from Firefly. I don't have the full cosplay. That's something that my husband Pete always does. So I just borrowed his cunning hat and his blue sun t-shirt and we're gonna make do for my first cosplay cooking video. So today we are going to be making Mudder's Milk from the episode of Firefly where they go to Canton and they find out that Jane is a hero to the Mudder people. So here is Jane Cobb, the inspiration for today's video. I have my Mudder's Milk mug here. We're gonna get this started. Jane just fell on the floor. Dang nabbit. All right, just sit. Okay, so I found this recipe online from the Geeky Chef. There's so many different versions of Mudder's Milk, but this was my favorite one. And most of the stuff I had and what I didn't have, I didn't mind getting. It didn't sound too crazy. I didn't want something that would be like totally disgusting that I wouldn't actually want to try. So first we are going to need a blender and we are going to start with two to three shots of Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey. I probably should have opened the bottle first, but I wasn't thinking ahead. Hopefully I can get this off without a struggle. Maybe, we'll see. Nope, I was thinking I'd use my teeth because that's something Jane would totally do, right? But it's not budging. I'm gonna have to go get a knife. I will be right back. And I'm back. Hopefully I don't cut myself because that would suck. All right, there we go. Oh, that smells really good. So two to three shots. We're just gonna go all out and go with three shots. One, two, three. All right. Next, it says we need half a cup of milk. all this. Yep, perfect. Half a cup of milk. Half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. I don't know if this is half a cup or not. I do have another one in the fridge if I need to go grab it. I will. I do realize I don't have ice here because I am trying to do this in my living room because my kitchen is so small and it's kind of a mess in there because I'm in the middle of doing laundry as well. My laundry, I have a stackable washer and dryer next to my refrigerator because I live in a townhouse. So it's kind of awkward not having an actual laundry room. It's one of my things that I can't stand. Actually, that is perfect. That is half a cup. Who would have thought? Okay. I wish I would have known that so I didn't dirty up all this. Oh, well. We'll learn as we go. Okay. Next, we are going to need one banana. Come on. There we go. It doesn't say to break it up, but I'm going to just to make it a lot easier when it's time to blend it. OK. 
Okay. Next, we are going to need two tablespoons of peanut butter. This is going to be so messy and hard to get out of the tablespoon. One. Oh, there's not a lot left. Two. Because it's stuck in here, I'm going to grab just a tiny, tiny bit more. Smells good. It's definitely going to be an interesting recipe. And the next item, one fourth cup of oatmeal. Put the, jar, the lid back on the jar of peanut butter real quick. I don't have a, a container of oatmeal. I just have the little packets. And the packet I have is a low sugar cinnamon and spice. I went with this one because, well, that's all I have. Which is good because one of the things in the list of ingredients is cinnamon to taste. I kind of figure if I go with the cinnamon and spice oatmeal, I don't have to add cinnamon to taste because there's cinnamon in the oatmeal, right? Makes sense to me. So one fourth a cup of this. Okay. Mm. Need the rest of that uh, and then it says honey to taste so what I'm gonna do is just take a little dollop of honey put my little honey dripper thing uh, give it a quick stir oh it's been sitting in the room temperature for a while okay come on off. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. And now I need some ice, which I do not have here. So I'm going to go take the milk back to the refrigerator and grab my ice really quick. I'll be right back. All right, got the ice. I probably should have took some of this other stuff with me, but it's okay. I don't know how much ice I'm going to need. So let's start with a few. Combine all ingredients in a blender, blend until smooth and drinkable, pour into a mug and enjoy. Here we go. Jane, the man they called Jane. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor, stood up to the man and he gave him what for. Our love for him now ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, the man they called Jane. Now Jane saw the mutter's back breaking. He saw the mutter's lament. And he saw that magistrate taking every dollar and leaving five cents. So he said, you can't do that to my people. You can't crush them under your heel. Jane strapped on his hat and in five seconds flat, he stole everything Boss Higgins had to steal. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor, stood up to the man and he gave him what for. Our love for him now ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane. Now here is what separates heroes from common folk like you and I. The man they call Jane. He turned round his plane and let that money hit sky. 
He dropped it onto our houses. He dropped it into our yards. The man they called Jane, he turned round his plane and headed out for the stars. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor, stood up to the man and he gave him what for. Our love for him now ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, the man they called Jane. All right, I think we're done. So now I'm going to pour it in my mother's milk mug and give it a taste. Smells good. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. What was it Jane says? All the protein, vitamins, and carbs of your grandma's best turkey dinner plus 15% alcohol. I had to cheat on that quote because I don't have it memorized. You'd think I would because I'm a huge Firefly fan. That's a quote from this episode that he says about the mother's milk. Hmm. That's pretty good. Hmm. I think it'd be better with just a tiny bit more peanut butter. But it's pretty darn good. All right. Well, there you go. This is the first of the cosplay cooking videos. I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did. I had a great time doing this and I can't wait to do more. I will leave the uh, recipe for Mother's Milk in the description. If you're a big Firefly fan like myself, give it a try. It's pretty tasty. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I upload videos on Monday and Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And sometimes I will put up a random video just because I have nothing better to do. So click that notification bell and you'll get notified when I do that. I'll see you again real soon in my next video. Check out my Instagram. I post pictures. I try to post pictures every week. And some of the pictures kind of go along with the vlogs that I'm doing. All right, that's enough yammering. More drinking. Cheers. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Mm. The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane.